good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm going to try to hunt down this RF interference. So what am I going to do to combat this RFI interference? Number one, let's find out if the source of interference is coming from this house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to operate my HF radio via battery and I will shut off the main circuit breaker to the house. All right, so I got my battery here with Anderson power poles. I'm going to disconnect my power and I'm going to connect it to the battery. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is now shut off the main power circuit breaker and let's see if the RFI is coming from within my house. We are totally DIW, dead in the water. There is no power in the house and we're operating on battery. I'm going to turn on the radio now. The RFI noise is still present. Shutting off the main circuit breaker eliminated the RFI coming from within the house. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take any transistor radio and I have one here. I'm going to use this radio and tune to the AM band and see if I can pick up that RFI. You hear that? Did you hear that? That's the noise. So I'm going to walk around the neighborhood with my radio and um, we're going to do some uh, RFI hunting. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn on the radio. We're going to walk around the house and see if we pick up any kind of strong signals. Um, and I'm going to be operating off of AM radio. I'm going to walk around closer to some of these power poles. Hey, before I uh, take a look at some of the power poles, I want to take a look at the... Uh, main power that's going into the house. So let me turn that on. There is uh, some noise. All right, let me go walk around the neighborhood. Okay, I'm looking at that power pole right across the street from the house. Let me turn on the radio. pretty strong there. Okay, it's pretty strong there. I'm gonna go to that other pole right over here. As I'm walking, that signal is still pretty strong. Okay, we're at this pole with those contactors up there. Still pretty strong. We're gonna go down here and take a look at some of these other power. There's some wires up there. 
right around there, dangling. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. It's clean. I think this is kind of clean. Let's go over there. All right, so we're approaching this power pole here. It's still noisy. It's still, it's very noisy still. Um, I'm gonna go towards that stop sign and then we're gonna test the powers over there, power poles. Those are my two antennas. That's the DX Commander Classic and also the 05 antenna. AM 520, I'm still listening. We're at the uh, intersection now. I wish we had a, uh, I wish we had a signal meter on the radio. Okay, it's getting kind of quiet on this side. All right, it's quiet over here. I still have the radio on. It's getting strong here. We're gonna take a look at that pole right here. That's, uh, I live behind this house, so I'm gonna check that pole, that's close to where I live, so that could also be causing interference. Okay, we're approaching that pole now. We're picking up noise. It's really strong here. My 05 antenna, okay, this is where it's planted. The DX Commander Classic is just right there. So I am picking up this noise. The DX Commander. Okay, now that you've walked around the neighborhood with me, what do I need to do? 
it's obviously not within the house so just walking around with the AM radio I'm picking up a lot of RFI I wish there was a signal meter on the radio itself so that when I got really close to that problem that it would show me the signal strength so I would identify yes this is the power pole I suspect that the RFI is coming from so what I got to do I need to call back the utility company and um, put in a trouble call I put in a trouble call maybe four or five days ago but I'm going to call about what's the status the RFI is still present and then if they lost that trouble ticket or they closed it without resolving the issue put another trouble ticket in and hopefully they would call me so I want to keep doing this keep doing this until the issue is resolved because it's it's causing interference and it's the utilities uh, problem Welp, that's my situation here unable to use uh, my HF radio because the dang noise yeah I can use my noise blanker but then it attenuates the signal a little bit and sometimes if you use too much attenuation or if you use too much of the settings of noise blanker the levels and uh, and the depth it can cause um, uh, distortion of the audio that you're trying to uh, work my name is Captain Darren my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR please stay tuned to my channel I'll give you an update on what happens with the utility company but uh, first thing I'm gonna do is call them and uh, find out the status of my trouble ticket if they lost it or they deleted it or uh, closed it out put in a new one so stand by if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider to subscribe I'll give you more updates it motivates me to make more videos for you till next time have a great day and stay safe 73s